Um, just a quick talk about um, work lights for the skull saw. Um, now, some of them, some manufacturers, I don't know if you've got one, but some manufacturers actually provide a work light over the top and such. Um, this one doesn't. So I needed a, a light. When working here, I've got lots of shadows. And them shadows, and also the shadow of the blade itself, it's, it's very off-putting because you, you start to think you're going on the wrong line and you start cutting on the shadow line instead of the actual line you want. Um, so not good. So I needed some sort of a, a good light to be able to see where I'm going, clearly. So I went to eBay and um, looking through various different things that they had there, I found these. A little 240 volt LED strip light. It's supposed to be placed your standard strip lights. And I thought, well, that'd be nice. You can, you know, stick it under here. It'll light up nice and convenient. And um, so I soldered up a plug and lead to it. And then put it on. Trouble is, this is what happened. Yeah. As you can see, it's just too bright to work with. It wasn't just bright, it's painful bright, you can't even look at it. You know, so, that was not a good idea. So, think again. So this time, I decided to start searching the whole internet, not just eBay. I do like eBay. Um, but not just eBay, I searched the whole internet for something that was more purpose-built, custom-designed, but not silly money because we're only talking an LED light, a little battery type of thing. Um, and I came across this weird contraption. It's actually a desktop light. Cork it out, like. Connects with USB. And just plugs in. And the thing I liked about this was it's got four lights in it. I mean, I'm all the time on all of them. But you can have one, two, three or four on at any point. You've got switches on the back of them. Crocodile clip. But the best bit is the fact that it's got swan necks. You can aim them exactly where you want them to be and they'll stay there with the shaking, if there is any, of your saw. Um, so, give this one a try. And for now, just a bit of tape on the back there to hold it in place. I'll do something more permanent when I am totally convinced. But you see, you press once, it comes on, press again, it comes on twice. And you've got that on both of them. So they're not painful, but they're bright enough, comfortable light. Um, and bring them to a point where it just doesn't pick up on anything. And if I turn the main light off, you've got just these. So, you know, you can have it where you want it avoiding shadows with different pieces of work um, and obviously turned away from your eyes so you're not having it in your eyes even though it's not strong light if it's aiming your eyes all the time it's obviously distracting um, and there we have it see, everything is nice and clear and bright and easy to work with I think and it's comfortable it's not a not a painful light it's quite relaxing it's making the paper just look like paper not glary strong bright or anything like that um, so I think that's a, that's a goal, that's a solution. I shall um, leave it in situ, use it for a while like this, and see if it really is um, as useful as it seems it's going to be. If it is, I'll dismantle all this and somehow incorporate it in the machine on a more permanent basis. Um, but bearing in mind the fact that they might not be that long lasting, so that I can take them out and put them back in again as I want. But I like the way it's just flexible. Simple and has no effect on it. Useful. And then reset the switch as soon as you unplug it. Okay, right, well, I'll leave a link at the bottom. So if you're interested in it, you can go and get yourself one. I think they're about six quid. You know, it's really, really cheap stuff. Um, so very useful. You don't get a charger with it, but hey, it's a phone charger. Everybody's got them. Okay, bye. Well, I'll uh, see you again next time. Bye for now.